This is your instructional video for the VaporZone 3-in-1 Ellipse Pen. Some call this a vaporizer, some call this an atomizer. Nevertheless, it is simply a vapor pen. You have the vapor pen with the battery attached and the e-liquid chamber. You have a wax or hash chamber, which is your smaller chamber. And then you have a dry herb chamber, which is the longer chamber. This cell comes with a USB wall plug, USA style, 110 volt. Comes with a USB smartphone charger. Get a close look at that. Works on any general smartphone capable charger. It comes with two tools. Comes with a scraping tool. Comes with a little handle at the bottom to grip it easier. And it comes with a cleaning tool. These tools are used for the general cleaning, maintenance, and removal of substances. This kit also comes with two caps for the remaining two attachments that might be used that are currently not in use or for one on the pen when you're not using it personally everything comes new everything comes tested and verified as functional before it ever ships out 100 sets sell in one day 100 sets get tested in one day so we use the basic e-liquid for the pen. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. Now the way you activate this pen is you push it five times. I already had the pen on, that's the same way you shut it off. Pen is off, press it five times, and pen is ready for use. E-liquid has been loaded and allowed to soak in before initial use. <clears throat> Please take note that your pen needs to be charged before first use. You may test it and use it, but any level of excess of use can take a chance of damaging the battery if you allow it to drain to nothing. This is a 3600 Ma lithium ion battery and it has a simple charger in the bottom. The light turns red when it's charging this device has an auto shut off feature, will not, will not allow it to overcharge. Please do not allow your device to drain fully, as your device will blink five times when you push the button. Instead of just lighting up, it'll blink five times. If you listen, you will hear the sizzle. So, here is the e-liquid being used. Easy enough. I'm not showing you anything more than that. But let it be known we will be using all three substances within this video, or I'm sorry, all three attachments with substances in this video. There's your e liquid. So we're going to go ahead and jump on to the wax, which wax, hash, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you're going to use in it. But we are putting jam. And I'm not explaining anything more than jam. So here's your pen. You just wiggle it apart. You have a rubber gasket that runs along the bead. Black gasket is meaning wax or hash. This is your device right here. Comes with a coil inside. You're going to place your substance on that coil. And then you will be able to use it just like the e-liquid pen. So we're going to attach the parts. As such. And you will see through a dry test. The device lights up. 
using this device to excess will burn out your coil. And please take note, all three attachments are replaceable. Going to your local smoke shop or looking at line, looking online, these attachments are replaceable, interchangeable, and uh, ultimately disposable. So, there it is lighting up. So we're going to take the tool, little metal tool, and we're going to take our jam. So this right here will be our jam on the spoon. And we're going to load it on the coil. Get it on there. Well, apparently, I got some on the coil. So, we'll just scrape the rest in there somehow. <clears throat> Please be advised I am not a regular user of one of these devices. And this video is being created through uh, necessity over desire. As I've attempted to hire somebody to do this for me and <laughs> it's been nothing but fail, fail, fail. So we're going to heat the wax up a little bit and we're going to get it right where we want it. So, we got the substance on the coil. What we're going to do is we're going to take the cap, place it back on the device, and begin to smoke. Instantly, the device smokes. Instantly, you will have uh, smoking apparatus. So as I said, you just hit it and you're good. Not a lot of smoke comes out with this type of attachment, but why should it? Please understand this device might require regular maintenance. Cleaning it out, using a proper solution to do the cleaning of the cap and such. But do not expect this to last five years without having to touch it, as you will be <laughs> surely mistaken. So the last and final attachment. This is your dry herb attachment. This is the most complicated of attachments included in this set. Some people choose to use it, some people choose not to. So the whole idea is to remove the center. Okay, well my tool is dirty. Let's see if we can just fork it out. There we go. So, you're gonna take out the silicone cap. As such, put that over here. And inside, you're gonna find a little grill. And that little grill comes out. It's a little disc, and it looks like it has a bunch of little dots in it. So I can't get any better focus than that. So on the inside, you got your coil set. I'm sorry. On the inside, you got your coil set. I'm going to show you what that looks like when it is uh, lit up. So you take your attachment, simply pop it on top and you press the button instantly the device lights up like I said before doing this in excess of 5 seconds beyond 5 seconds like 10 seconds you are going to burn out the coil so 
this is for the recreational user. This is not for somebody that is looking to buy a hundred dollar vapor pen and and try to cut a corner by buying a twenty dollar vapor pen. This is a very reliable, very functional, very diverse pen set. And as you can see, it's easy to interchange and switch up with your needs. So we're gonna take some tobacco and we're gonna load this device with this tobacco. So we're gonna stuff the tobacco in there. So take the tobacco and you wanna stuff it down into the chamber. You want to get it down where your top grill is going to clear. There's a little lip on the inside and you need to clear that little lip so this stone piece can sit in place. And yes, this is some type of ceramic disc. So you pop this disc back in, tap it level. You're going to take your silicone tip, which is nice and squishy. You're going to pop it right in top. Okay. So you just slide it right in. And you might want to leave it up just a little bit. So it's easier to retrieve when you go to fill it once more. <coughs> now the whole key of this device is to use moderation. If you want to use this in excess thinking this is a an expensive hundred dollar pen then you are going to end up wasting your money so let's give it a try Works like a charm. Turn it on, and it works. So, at this point, this will conclude your instructional video. Uh, please use general care maintenance to ensure that your product lasts the longest it's possible. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.